to the outside. Okay, you got a BMW gifted to you by your parents. Correct. Were you excited about it? But I would prefer a Mercedes over it. I can't believe her mom actually bought her a car. I don't feel like your mom and Tyler, they're just fed up of seeing you spend money. I don't really care. If you don't really care, here's something you could do. You could go get a damn job. Maybe go to school. People aren't gonna pay your bills forever. Okay, you've been watching the show so far, right? Yeah. What do you think about your behavior as it's played back to you? I don't know, she needs to stop playing the victim. So she watched all of that that we just saw and she's like, my mom needs to stop playing the victim. Bitch, you shoved the sandwich into our face. She's a damn victim. Why are you crying right now? I'm not crying. She had sex, she had a kid, like she grew me up, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she had sex. She had a kid. The kid turned out to be a demon witch. <laughs> but I mean, I do agree. Her parents should have disciplined her. Your kid's gonna act like a spoiled brat. You gotta beat some sense into them. Like, you can't go around doing whatever you want with no consequences. You can't have a kid that does absolutely nothing. No chores, no responsibility. Or they're gonna come out. Like From this Hard piece of Rock shit. Stadium like dog. in he Miami, Florida. Dog. He like doesn't yell at him. Like I'm gonna open his house. It's a special a Christmas Day, Day edition of the yeah, NFL on EA Sports. Like, if they don't punish them, they're not gonna learn. Now I'm not saying beat your dog, but I mean Cheryl went over here. She's a different case. But you gotta know when to say no. Like her behavior is unacceptable. You could change. Like, what if her parents didn't give her money? What if her parents made her do chores to earn things instead of just giving it to her? Why would you buy We'll see two a tug of Iloa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Well, much of the country is struggling under cold temps and some of that white stuff. No such troubles here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Green Bay Packers and the Miami Dolphins. The veteran kicker Mason Crosby set to do the honors here, and we are underway from Miami. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. And here comes the Miami offense now, and it's the Southpaw in his third season at the wheel for the Fens. Quarterback to a tongue of Iloa. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field, and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And now leaving with a second and just a few inches left. I cannot even believe the level of disrespect. On play action, here's Tua. This week complete to Jalen Waddle. And he'll take this to the other side. Over here. Maybe loudly voicing his objections to that previous call. He's going to throw out the red challenge flag. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. Play action, now it's two of you. Going up top. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Meanwhile, to his throw here, taken in by Gesicki. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 
They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. And his throw here is incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Sanders' kick is good. And the opening drive for the Dolphins yields three. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Leading the Packers offense out here, the same man who has been doing so since 2008. That's the great Aaron Rodgers. There have been very few quarterbacks in the NFL who have been as consistent throughout their career as Aaron Rodgers. He's been good for so long, and we've seen no decline in his skills. His accuracy and arm strength continue to elevate the talent around him, and his in-game mistakes, few and far between. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. They'll come to the needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Rodgers. He'll find the Glora complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. This is fielded at the 27. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And it'll be Dolphin football. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Yeah. 
Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, that, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Caught on the slant. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Gaskin will score. Touchdown, Miami. They go high formation. Fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost start, isn't it? It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you gain an advantage, and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. And down he goes. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And a short three-yard pickup gets him up to the 15. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. On third and long, it's Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. He'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it, any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so and whether it's the script whether it's you know just what they're going through whether they're seeing different defenses they're gonna have to figure it out as this game moves on both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief and both knew exactly where the first down markers were you know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front but somehow some way those guys found a way to pick it up just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine on play action, now Rodgers. 
He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. On play action, Rodgers. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he is going to have a Packers first down as this defense cannot come up with a play that they need. In fact, they surrender a big chunk. 17 yards there on fourth down. And inside give to Jones. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They'll go again to Jones. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. After the turnover, it's Tua. Open man is Waddle complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Dean Lowry just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Tua going to throw. That one complete to Hill. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now it's Rodgers. He'll find his tight end here, DeGuara. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Again, it's Jones. 
Down at the 35. It'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw brought in by Watson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Rodgers finding Watson for the Packer first. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Rodgers throw here pulled in by Lazard. And it's a Packers touchdown. Allen Lazard. 26 yards and the Packers have cut it back within a score and on that one able to catch it also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score and how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play look the ball in secure the catch and then of course the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone Crosby with the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a Packers touchdown. Boy, they're down only one score, still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Gets it to Hill. It's a jet sweep. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. On the right side open is Gasicki. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Two of finding Gesicki there for a Dolphin first. A handoff running left is Mostert. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Here's Mostert. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, rolling in the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. You have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Flush to his right. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. They'll try it now with Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow through. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And 
this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, playing the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Jones. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now a play fake, Rodgers. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Rodgers' throw is taken in by Jones. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Rodgers now on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Harlan. And the Dolphins are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now a give to Mostert running right. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Tua sets up to pass it. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Running the counter with Mostert. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Looking to pass to him. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Now the veteran Thomas Morstead on to punt it away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Rodgers now to throw. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 
His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. And he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes you're fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. From the 40 now on second down, Rodgers. He'll go right back to Tunyon. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 53 yards rushing for him now to this point. Up the middle, Jones. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. Already down two scores. They're going to go for this rather than settle for three. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Dillon. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Dillon. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. A.J. Dillon, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are back within a score. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. touchdown here's Crosby to kick it away from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27 first down Miami as they get set to start the drive and for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. That swung out to Moster. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing now is Chung of Iloa. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. They'll run the draw with Mostert. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Sanders' kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Shot before half for Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. So we've reached halftime here on Christmas Day. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. Let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. And he's got to be wondering what happened in that first half. Three interceptions, very uncharacteristic. And even the great ones go through phases like this, like what we just saw. And most of them, they have such a mental capacity to throw it out and essentially start over. I think that's where he's headed now. He's got his opportunity to throw it out. Let's see how he does. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A give to Jones. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 70 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. 
pick up the first down also helps out your defensive guys a little bit too allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest and they'll keep on the ground with Jones on a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Ten more there and another first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. To throw on second and six, Rodgers. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Noah Igbenogany. And the Dolphins are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Excellent effort by Kingsley Enigbari. He found a way through and had a stop for a loss. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. From the gun, it's Tua. And that is incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. On second down, it's Jones. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Xavier Howard. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond to a hit, and the ball is out. And that ball popped free. We could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Here's Tua. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. 
So it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare...
completion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession go. over here on the punt and that will come the offense as they take over loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 28 yard line and he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones he'll be hit down at the 33 five yards on the play the first down run got five here's second and five and now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Open man left side. It's the tight end to Guara. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Here's Love. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation you have to think to yourself this has got to be a run and I know as a safety when I saw that I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage instead they threw the ball and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup and he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On the tackle there, Zach's...
Ferris State. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Play action this time with Love. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 16. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of 8. Ball on the 8, second and 2. And inside give to Jones. 129. And now hold everything here as the challenge flag is out. And we're going to get a review of that last play. This a touchdown. That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So that challenge not successful there, and that's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Josiah DeGuora, a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Packers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. And he'll get into the end zone to push the lead up to a field goal. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter. To a hit, and the ball is out, and the Packers pick it up. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but the QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within this, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. The give is to Jones. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half. And that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security. And none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Third quarter action here on Christmas Day. Hope everyone's having a blessed holiday season. Second and ten right now. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. 
two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Second down, Gaskin. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. We are off to the fourth corner here on this special Christmas Day broadcast. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now Waddle on the jet sweep. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. On second down, Moster, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. Escaping the pressure right. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll be second in a couple. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Love. And that's incomplete. Josiah DeGuara, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Now Jones. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Love now on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. 
And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. On play action, here's Tua. Forced out to his left. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. A run with Mostert up the middle. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Dean Lowry able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Jason Sanger is on for the field the kick by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins have tied things up here in the fourth. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. 148 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Love with a give to Dillon. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Up the middle, Jones. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Now a second down and six. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down of the 33. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Jones. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Up the middle they run. Here's Dillon. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The last run got six. Now second and four. 
Well, they'll try the jet sweep here with Lazard. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. The Packers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This time it's third and three. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Jones. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Packers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. So still time remaining here in this fourth quarter, but the touchdown there puts him back out in front. And you and I both know that their defense will not very subtly remind everyone that they started all of this because they held firm on the last drive and only gave up a field goal. Gave it back to the offense in a tie game and said, okay, your turn now, make something happen. And they went down the field and scored. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Good work after the catch. Going to net them 23 and a first. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. To his throw here, taken in by Gesicki. And a nice pick up there as he'll get about nine. And that will lead us to a stoppage here at the two-minute warning. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Throwing again on second down. Tua, that's going to be caught by Waddle. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Here's Tua. Another catch there for Waddle. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Tua. They'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tug of Iloa. They'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in 9 yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Two and a throw. Touchdown, Dolphins! Trent Sherfield from 8 yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. Nixon now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. 
Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? The Love's throw complete here on target to Tunyon. First down now, but that clock rolling. Love. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They could pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about... Oh, and a bad time late for a poor throw. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers have just about sewn up this football game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Love. Open man left side. It's a tight end, Tunyon. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we sign off from Miami.
today. From SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's a special Christmas Day edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Baker Mayfield and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Denver Broncos and the Los Angeles Rams. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Now they're led out by the number one overall pick back in 2018, Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him and he's ready to provide it. On the first snap, here's Mayfield. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. On third down, Mayfield. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Josie Jewell. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. So we race the flag, they decline it. And did they use the big eraser, or was that the one at the end of the number two pencil? Well, I was thinking the like the two by two inch ones that you can buy yeah, and use yeah. that in and addition to the pencil. And those last forever. A long time. No doubt. McManus's point after is good. And that makes the score seven nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And he returns this to the 22. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Play fake, Mayfield. Eluding the pressure right. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. He was certainly quick to atone for his early game interception. Instead of making another mistake forcing something, he reset himself and found a lane to pick up the first down. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Now Mayfield on fourth down. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. So just shy of midfield. They tried it. Didn't work out. What did you think? I thought that they should have punted the ball away. Should have gotten rid of it and played defense with better field position. Look, I'm as aggressive as anyone wanting to go for it on offense, but in this situation, it yeah, first half. I don't know that there's any risk. I mean, what's the reward for, for your risk here? I would not have done that. My only explanation is this coach, he may want to be up here in the booth with us. We may have a three-man booth starting next week if he keeps up with those decisions. Now Wilson, and he wisely will throw that one away. Well, to me, there is no question about the intent there, and I think he was a little fortunate that the penalty flag didn't come out for grounding. But he'll get away with it and get another shot on third down. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. So on fourth down, the Broncos send Corliss Waitman out to punt. Back deep, Brandon Powell. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. Partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go with Murray again. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Third and two, now Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Rams are going offense here with a first and 10. Been a nightmare of a first quarter for him. Two interceptions, one return for a touchdown. As he starts again here, first and 10. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. 
Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. A give up the middle to Akers. And down to the 41. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm is going forward, incomplete pass. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. Mayfield on play action. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And able to find Higby. It's complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there, because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, we're looking at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to... And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Ben Skoranek, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Rams are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. But this feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, Barton, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone when things are so condensed. But a lot of times you end up focusing on the running backs and they're able to slip it to the receiver, and it resulted in a touchdown. the touchdown. Here's Gay to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll give up the gut for Murray. Breaks through the contact. The Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. They go back to Murray on first down. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. On the stop was Aaron Donald. 
Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 39. The catch and run good for 24 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Wilson. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Back to the ground game. Here's Murray. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A tight one. 8-7 our score after one on EA Sports. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. That was second down run for Murray. And room there to work it inside the 25. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. <laughs> The kick by McManus is good. And they stay claim to the lead here. It's 10 to 8. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Set to go again. Here's Cam Akers in the L.A. offense. They're behind in the first half here, C.D., but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Mayfield's throw pulled in by Hopkins. Here's a run with Edge on second down. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Mayfield on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hopkins. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory, right at the 40. On the give, this is Akers. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Mayfield off the play fake. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. 
A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. Oh, look at this play call. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. Mayfield looks to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. The defenders certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. On the handoff, it's Akers. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground. In the Blitz coming, and down he goes. Fourth down, Mayfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Broncos will take over on downs. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Now Wilson on first down. Flushed out right. And smartly going into the slide there. Wilson has enough for the first. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. On first down, Murray. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw hauled in by Washington. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And movement by one of the Broncos up front, and in comes the flag. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Following the penalty, it's Murray. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And brought down there by Taylor Rapp. Second and 10. Again, it's Murray. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. But backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Wilson buying time to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. 
They'll try and run with Murray. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Wilson's throw taken in by Sutton. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Here's second and a yard. Now Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Saubert. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Up the middle, Murray. No gain on the play there, second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now it's Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. Throwing is Wilson. And that is incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. First down, Mayfield. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because uh -huh. here we are season in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. It's a game on first and ten, it's Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Throwing again on second and ten. Wilson flushed to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up... We're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 44, Mayfield. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They go play action. Mayfield. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Fielded at the 20. 
So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Try to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss and now third and 12. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. So we've reached halftime here. Charles has already thrown off his headset. He's out here. He says, it's Christmas Day. I'm going home. We're not done yet, though. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect... Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Here's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, that's good decision making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. And this is going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The throw over the middle, taken in. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. This a second and seven from the 37. Mayfield. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are going to take possession of the football. So first and 10 now from the 30. After the interception, here's Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Three yards remain for second down. Now Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Murray. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start 
of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here's second and one now from the seven. Carries pop and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it. When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. And he'll be out right at the 35. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing Mayfield. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Third and long for Mayfield. And this will be incomplete. Boy, can you believe this? That one probably should have been picked, too. Instead, it's fourth down. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And they will take over first and ten. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. After the sack on first down, Wilson throw over the middle, taken in by Dulcich. That'll go for a gain of seven. And just like that, it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. From the gun, it's Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that's going to make it fourth down. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. 113 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. 
They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. So a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 49-yard line. Here's Mayfield. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. They give up the middle to Akers. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold. It's second down. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Throwing is Wolford on third down. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Broncos are going to take possession of the football. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. From the shotgun, Wilson. A leaping, and he makes the grab. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Play action, it's Wilson. Open man, and again, it's Sutton. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Again, Wilson. This is caught. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down and goal, Wilson. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. So they're back at the seven now for third and goal. Wilson. And that is incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. Fourth down, Wilson trots off, and on comes Brandon McManus for the Denver field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chipping. The kick by McManus is good, and that pushes the lead to eight points. They doubled him up. It's 16 to eight. So the defense are able to force the interception and the offense working their way into field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball, maneuvered it downfield, and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, which was a touchdown, they did get three points out of it. So they paid off what the defense gave them. Both sides would be thrilled with that. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. To throw again on second down. Wolford. Pass caught. It's Ben Skoranek. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, here's a run by Akers. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. The Wolford now on first down. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. Picked off by Alex Singleton. And the Broncos are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Brandon, offense. From the 30 on second down, Wolford. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle him almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. You give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. <laughs> To throw is Wolford. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. On first down, Wolford. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right there. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 2-2 two -two Atwell. 32 yards. And the Rams have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. The fly route works for the TD Graham. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the stripe. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. To the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive. As Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, L.A. And a big turning point here in the second half, Charles, after that play. 
All you're trying to do is change momentum, flip things around for your team. You're just trying to take the ball away. But how about when you take it away and score? That really changes things. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Wilson. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. Got a man. It's Judy complete. 30, 10, 5, and all the way home for a Bronco score. Jerry Judy, 73 yards. And the Broncos use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Extra point from McManus is good. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. And the Rams now coming out on the field. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with this four-point fourth quarter lead. And he gets... to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. To throw on second and six, Wolford. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Wolford gonna throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's... So this one will wind up a Denver victory, and they were really helped by their defense forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one 